Oh, hi. I guess you wanted interesting Paul, huh? I suppose I'll try and find him for you. Hang on. Okay, now that he's gone, let's have a chat. What up team? My name is Paul Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about JavaScript, parameters, and using defaults for your functions. Now, if that doesn't make sense, hopefully the code on my screen will. So let's have a quick look over here. What we've got here is a, a shapes class, and we're going to have a function that draws a rectangle. The parameters you might pass for something like this would be something like x and y and width and height, maybe a color, maybe opacity. Something like that. And you can see very quickly, we're getting into what I like to call parameteritis, inflammation of the parameter. It's not what I call it, but it is what it is because we're sort of like, oh, I'll just add one more parameter. Or I'll just add one more, add one more. And of course, when we actually call this code, let, let me write that const shapes, new shapes. We say shapes dot draw rectangle. Now, admittedly, VS Code is doing a very good job here of giving us what these are, but let's say I do like 100, 100, zero, something like that. And okay, I've not filled them all out either, but you get the idea. Looking at this code in a week, two weeks, six months, you're not gonna understand what you're seeing because you're gonna look at it and go 100, 100. Now, was that X, was that Y, was that the width, was that the height? What was that? So what we can do, and you'll see this quite a lot in people's code, they tend to collapse all these things down into say options like that. And the reason that you do that is so that they can do something like this, x 100, y 100, width 0, so on. And inside, thanks to ES 2015 code, you can actually do something really quite neat where you can say const that equals options. And now when we do something like x, in fact, let's just do like console.log x, y width height, color opacity like so. Okay, so with those in place, when we when we log it out, you'll see something in the browser that looks like this in case, okay, 100, 100, zero, and then because I've not passed the other ones, they're undefined. Fair enough, reasonable. Um, but what we can also do, which I think is really nice, is we can provide defaults that we can override. Let me show you what I mean. So for example, in this case, I've passed X, Y, and width, but I've not provided, say, height, the color, or the opacity. And what I can do is I can actually default those values to say h equals 100, color equals, whoa, color equals, you've got to get a record, there we are, and say opacity equals one. And you know, you could imagine I was gonna do some drawing code after this. Now, when I come back to what's in the browser, you can see that all the values are actually filled out. This is pretty cool. So I can, let me default the rest of them. So let's say 100, x equals zero, y equals zero, Cool, so with all those set up, what we can also do, or what we need to do, is we need to handle the case where we don't pass anything at all, and we might just pass that through as a default of an empty object, so that essentially we're saying, we'll destructure from this empty object into these parameters, uh, and they won't be there, so we'll default to the ones that we have. It looks like that. So we get defaults for doing nothing, but then as and when we wish to override it, let's say we're gonna do uh, x at 100 and y at 100, Boop. Is that not the coolest? So in summary, what we've got is we've got a function that can take no parameter and it will do sensible defaults. We've got something that takes partial parameters. So if we only want to override certain parts, we can do that. And we've got something that makes a lot more sense when you try and read it in six months, or if you give it to somebody else who's new to the code, they'll look at it and go, oh, X is 100, Y is 100. Okay, I see what you're trying to do. So it makes it a lot more readable and hopefully a lot more sensible for you as well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I better get going because he's coming back. See you on the flip side. I couldn't find him.